all right so first things first is this is savage yes okay <laughs> just had to make sure <laughs> i pulled groups into normals before so look at all those wound cutscenes let's go i'm excited <laughs> Let me do a quick post here. Let me do a quick post here. So uh, we're going to get that juicy uh, poetics, you know. <laughs> First time clear bonus, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm maxed, just what I needed. All right. So first thing is first, what do we have for fun? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Uh, wow. Gosh. I... What's up? Uh, no, I'm, I'm telling my roommate that now is not a good time for our brand of humor. <laughs> Which is interactive and involves me answering dumb memes that are super outdated at this point and shouldn't make us laugh, but do. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't know you were me. <laughs> and my roommate. Alright, yeah. so what I'm gonna have, real quick, exactly. I am. Exactly. I'm so. Old memes that shouldn't be funny to us, but somehow still are. Alright, enough of that, though. I. See, I'm debating on just how I teach this because I've been shown the light of Tank North South, but at the same time, I like doing Tank North East, Northwest, because it's just nicer for tiles. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then the healers are gonna struggle. Uh, <laughs> If, if you've ever joined one of my learning parties, you know I hate the healers, so... Uh... Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have... I'm gonna just throw people places. I'm gonna have... Heart, you can come right here. And then you'll be south, Jam. Uh, and then Dodgy, you can be right here. And then, uh, what else we got? Chris, I want you right here. And then I need... Uh, Iron, do you want to come north? Uh, and then, so am I missing right something? Here. Because there's a lot of here's and there's, and I have no idea. This is just clock positions, so, like, just move to where I am, right? So, like, the one is the boss, right? So you would be north of the boss. And then okay. you, you can be on the east side of the boss. So these are our clocks, so you watch, like, your partner or whatever, right? So you see, uh, like... Basically, what we'll be doing is I'm going to rotate the cardinal people counterclockwise if we need okay. to stack with our partner. So you be coming to me, Iron. Heart would be going okay. to Dodgy, Jam would be going to Chris, Nudes would be going to uh, Hybe, um, if you need to be in the partners. Uh, so the first little set of mechanics that go off are um, like a clock, a stack, and a tank buster. Uh, the clock, you just go to your clock positions. Uh, the stack, you go with your uh, partner, Intercardinal, and then the tank buster just stay the fuck away from north. Uh, and then I'll let you know when you need to provoke off me, Hybe. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Okay, just to make sure when the stack marker comes, since I'm north, I go west. You'd be coming to me. Okay. Yeah. You just rotate counterclockwise once in your clock position, so if you're north, you just come here. Yeah. Okay. And then okay, the people so are in the cardinals, it. so Hybe, Chris, Dodgy, and myself, we don't move. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, ignore <laughs> these marks. Well, these marks are okay for like just showing your positions to some degree, but don't worry about them too much just now. 
because uh, I'll have to assign these marks as well later, but for now this will be fine. Uh, we'll put 20 on the clock and we'll get out of here. And then we're probably just going to die to Brambles, but that's okay. Uh, it's a big deal. I just want you guys to see what's going on here first before... <clears throat> So, when I pull here, right out of the gate, just go to your attack positions. So you be more efficient. And then, what'll happen first, so she is going to be casting an AoE. Uh, if she is has a glowing aura, you want to be in your block. If her balls are glowing, you want to be in your stack partner. So we go to our stack partners. Over here with me, Aaron. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, and then go to your clock. See the aura, so we can come into the other yeah. Now stay away from high beam myself. Got it. There's gonna be a bust around high beam, so we can cook. You need to mitigate that too. <laughs> Forgot to mention, but. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go into the phase transition into uh, brambles or knockback brambles. Uh, if you have, I would recommend using your knockback immune. Uh, you can pop it if you're using it, uh, and then you'd be placing it. I need to assign those. Um, I would be used to this if this is trash, but. Oh! Yeah. yeah I... <laughs> I I'm see. gonna show a bit more here. Yeah, your fine needs. All right, so this is a wide angle. Uh, I I'll explain this to you because. Sure. Uh, uh, no. I do remember breaking the tether in the city. <laughs> yeah, no, I ran good. to the other side. Yeah, no, you did right. Uh, to some degree, I guess, but so. What we saw is there's the knockback, and there's, um, you basically drop a puddle on the ground that you want to walk out of as soon as you drop it. After you do that, you're going to potentially adjust if you need to, uh, but probably you shouldn't need to. Um, so how this works is these markers on the ground right now, you want to be dropping your puddle at that marker. Um, we separate the healers and the DPS and the tanks uh, so that you can break it easier, uh, those tethers, because you get tethered to the closest puddle you are to and mm -hmm. some random DPS or opposite job role of you. So tanks and healers get tethered to DPS and vice versa. Um, so, basically how I work it is, uh, I don't do, well, I do something similar with my static when we were clearing this, but it's not the exact same. Um, but I would have myself, I would be at one, uh, dropping my puddle at one, and then uh, cart, you would be dropping yours at eight. So it's tanks healers north, DPS south. High B would be dropping theirs at B, and Jam would drop in, be dropping theirs at 2. You have a little bit after the knockback if you're just going to ride it to get to those spots, but not too, too much. Uh, as for the DPS, um, I will have uh, Iron Wall, you can drop yours at 4. And then Dodgy, you can your, drop yours at D. Chris, you'll be dropping at 3. And then Noodles, you'll be dropping yours at C. If that's good. Just This is just for the Bramble. When, after the AoE, when we get knocked back, that's where you go to drop your uh, pedal. I'll call it out. Okay. And after we drop them, do we move in or out? Uh... It depends. You cut so after you drop it. If I'm from the DPS perspective, uh, 
what you'll see is you'll see the boss uh, cast like two tethers to the side of the arena. It'll either be a tether east and west or a tether north south. If the tether's east and west, the safe zones are going to be north south. So DPS, you're just going to stack here and then run across when you get the uh, the um, the purple AOE around you. And the opposite's true for the healers and tanks. The healers and tanks will be uh, north. Uh, and then you would just run south if it's um, north south. If it's east and west, though, uh, the people on three and four need to move over to like between four and A, and the people on one and A need to move over to uh, C and two to get those tethers. So we, when we run across, we get assigned like these tethers over here instead of the ones that we dropped. Same thing goes for if you're on B2, D or 4, you just kind of like sidestep over this way a bit. I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, reset. I'm just, I'm just jumping. <laughs> so, so far, with the exception of the puddles, the tether mechanic sounds like the one in normal. Or uh, am yeah. I yeah. misreading that somehow? No, that's correct. No, and it does the uh, the two tethers to one side. Same story, big A week going forward, save spot is on the flanks. Yeah. The only okay. problem that comes is if it's east-west, because you had to rotate. Like, if it's north-south, it's pretty straightforward, as long as you drop <laughs> your pedals correctly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Uh, I'm... Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to Ooh. just pull. I was going to assign light parties for the next mechanic, but like, I want to see if we can get this. Hmm? Yeah, one one step at a time sounds like a good idea. Yeah. 20 on the clock. On the bright side, like, if you can get brambles down, it's not too, too bad. Uh, I would say brambles is harder than the rest of the first phase into tiles. So get your clock positions. Go to your clock. Nope. Wait, yeah, yeah, sorry. And then get your partner. So it's always going to do the opposite. So you come over the iron. There's enough HP, that sucks, but we will try to get him up. Uh, go no, ahead and provoke off me. Mitigate as well. Fucking god damn it. Screw my stuff. Alright, so we got a raid light coming out here. Um, get ready to go to your letter or your number, whichever. Um, if you're using your knockback, you can go ahead and pop it. Uh, so jam go north over at 2. Got the puddle, and then it starts out, that's gonna be cursed. It's actually gonna screw us, but uh, that's okay. And then you can cut across. This is bad. <laughs> I, I completely misunderstood that. Alright. Uh, bye bye. Oh fuck. No, it was just that side tether. The one there. But that's okay. That was kind of my fault. I screwed up and I didn't get the right place. That's okay. I don't have a knockback thing, so I gotta stand closer and it screws me up. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna use it, it's Surecast. Uh, oh, Surecast does it? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It. yeah it's the equip, it's the functional equivalent to arm's length. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll put that on my bar. Got it now. It's caster's arm's length. Like, again, you don't have to use it, but, you know. Uh, also, rather... like, after that tank buster, you can pretty well just go to your spot. Um, okay. 
it, it's all up to you what you really want to do. But... And then. Just my first oh. Savage Raid ever, so I'm kind of yeah. Yeah, slowly no building into it. Yeah, that's all good. Have to get in at some point if you're going to do it. And <laughs> I'm very patient with this, so. Ooh, 20 on the clock. Just uh, make sure if there's something you want clarification on that you ask. That's uh. Yeah. Because I've had it where we've just run into this stuff for a while and I ask, is there anything you want to know or whatever? And then no one says anything and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> I don't know where to go with this. Just watch your stance at the beginning there. I need to move it now. Shit, my bad. It's okay, it's fine. Um, so we'll, what we're going to be doing is we're going to our fox. You got your fox. Oh, scared me. Like go to your partners. You get stacked at two pillars. Two people are going to die. Ow. That's what happens if uh, you have people dead during that. Uh, you can go ahead and provoke off me. Get ready for the raid wide into the uh, probably gonna do that, but get ready, drop your puddles. Oh no, I'm not You have time to get there. Yep, this is east west, so cart and I rotate. And then we So you would be between four and a uh nudes. It's okay. Where should oh, the DPS go down lost? Oh, I fell off the head. Sorry. Um, it's okay. When Brambles happens, after I go to 2, where do I go? Um, I'm a bit confused about that. You can explain after we're done. I'm just, I'm I, yeah, I can explain it. Did I go to 4 and A after I drop the puddle? So, you saw how like the tethers were north-south, right? Mm-hmm. So, in that case, uh, the DPS that were C and 3 would have came over between, like, rotated when I called it, over to between here and here. Closer, of course, but I don't want to go closer because I'll pull her. And then the healer and tank on 1 and A would have rotated over to between 2 and C. Um, for your question, Jam, um, Depending on where it is, uh, after you drop your puddle, if it's east and west, you can just shimmy a bit south between 2 and C. If it's north, then you just shimmy a bit north towards 1 and B. Uh, okay, so I'm either going a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. Yeah. Um, okay, easy enough. If, if it's north-south, basically you stack up with your, uh, your parties, so tanks, healers north, DPS south, and then you just wait for that purple AoE to go off, wait for the call, and then you just fucking sprint across between the two to the safe zone, and you should break the tethers on the way there. Um, okay. If it's east-west, you rotate, and then you do that. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm still not sure I understand. I got, um, I, I, I got a tether on high and my Bramble, I think? Yeah. I tried to run across to break it, but the high was also on that side. Which one of us was making the wrong choice? So I started um, over here and uh, ran uh, ran east. You guys were over here, right? Uh, I was over at four and I tried to make it over here. Well, I did, but the high fell. But the high was also on this side, so I couldn't break that tether. I think what had happened was high got a tether that was over here, so he ran over here to break it, and then you two were tethered together. So. Are we talking mm. about last pull? Yeah. Uh, last pull, I was standing in north. Bram uh, the stuff came out, so I came over here to west. Yeah. And then we were supposed to ran through, I ran from west to east. Yeah. I mean, by west, I mean east. Yeah, no, I, I, I know what you west. mean. I know what you meant. Uh, yeah, I think what ended up happening with you is you got, like, one of the one or A tethers, so you ran over here. And then you got to tether Dynamo, well, and he was over there as well. Because, like, basically, ideally, uh, 
the after you rotate, it's like tank healers always are running west, or yeah, and then DPS are always running east if it's east west. Um, okay. And then tank healers run south always, and then uh, DPS run north always. Ideally, unless somebody uh, grabs a tether from a different ramble, but I mean, if that happens, it is what it is. Right. The run after the rotate, All right? Yeah. Or after you're just chilling, like everywhere. Three and C and one and A have the most to do during that. That's part of why I put myself there. So. It's, uh, it's less work for everyone else to do. <laughs> and then again, it's like, you can do whichever way with your statics if you end up playing with static. Uh, we do it differently, like we end up dropping further out. That just works for us, so that's what we do. This is what Party Finder does as far as I'm aware though. So. We'll put is there a particular reason not to drop the uh, puddles like in the far edges of the arena? Like in the corners? Yeah. Uh, uptime and you'll see the mechanic after I stick the uh, the DPS and the healers in the corners because of okay. an upcoming mechanic. Uh, I know it. some groups put them on cardinals like down here or whatever. Uh, it it mm -hmm. just kind of depends what works for you. Like we had a guy that used to teach 9S and uh, he did that. I don't really care for that, personally. But All right. it's, uh, yeah. But we'll put 20 in the clock and we'll get out of here. It just ends up coming down to if you're running with the static, then you can pretty well get away with whatever. Because we drop ours like a bit back here, like a bit back from three and a bit back from C. So you can split the difference between the uh, brambles. And we don't uh, rotate either. We just kind of... we were <laughs> So my week one landing party on this was extremely janky. Um, because... So basically we would get knocked back. And then we would just drop them like on the clock positions. And then we would just like panic mechanic those tethers. Uh, and it was a good time. Stack with your partner. And then clock. Alright, stay away from the high You can go ahead and provoke. Cast the long spell. Alright, get ready for the raid wide. And you can go to your. Uh, your bramble positions. Right. If you're using knockback, you can pop it. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. All right. We are on east and west, so rotate. And then we are coming across. DPS were on the wrong side. Two of you were, but that's okay. Whoops. Alright, that's fine. Uh, so this yeah, is wide angle, so we'd be going under and to the side. This is where uh, light party is important. Uh, let's see if we get lucky. Probably not. Tank Buster's out. And then, oh, okay. And everyone out. We got so this! Yeah, so it's well, important, move between by a the and way, four, that like you do it. not move until like you see that purple bramble around you. Uh, because I saw two of you move across to uh, the, the B side before like two of the DPS move across before uh, the uh, the brambles were assigned. It's okay. I don't worry about it too much. Uh, we'll wait Do we for want to run straight across? There. What's up? If I'm at like C and go to A between A and four, am I running straight across or am I running around? You're running straight across to C. There should be an opening. Okay, so from C to A to four, back to between C and two. Yeah. 
You might need to run to the edge just to break your bramble, but... Uh, and then, unless it's like north and south, then you're at sea, right? If it's north-south, then you run down here. And then you wait for the purple AoE to go, and then you just run north. Hmm, alright. And then, in your case, Iron, since you're like over at 4, right? If yeah. it's If it's east-west, you just run over here. Run straight across. If it's north south, you run over here. Straight across. Got it. Same thing goes for dodgy. Always go down the middle. Got it. And then for tanks and healers, you just you can follow me basically. Um, if you want, I'll even just uh, sign myself a mark. Uh, for tanks and healers, if you want to follow, um, for the I need Chris here before I can explain the rest. But I'm gonna assign light parties for wide angle and anti air. Um, and that's that's pretty well. That, like wide angle and anti air is kind of a weird mechanic. And then you'll see like arena cleaves, and we'll go into the other one that wasn't done before. It's tiles. Are we trying to break the tether before the AOE? Like, yeah, the orange circles. If you need a pop sprint, then pop sprint. Because uh, like, so, like, if you if don't it's... break that tether, like if you don't break the tether attached to the seed, you're gonna get dragged, dragged back, and killed. Uh, the DPS, if you're tethered to some other, someone else, then it's not too bad, because that'll just take, uh, that'll just give you a Vuln up or something like that, do some damage to you. That one's not too bad if you don't break it, but the, uh, the one attached to the seat's bad if you don't break. So I have a question. Sure. Uh, I got tethered to A. And yeah, because, so what, I got tethered to, like, or something because we had six people over on the side before they were assigned. Oh, okay. Two DPS so... ran over. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't something I fucked up. No, no, you were fine. But yeah, just wait for that little uh, or, or purple fucking AOE before you run for the call. The one on the floor. Right? Yeah. And we break the. Do we break the uh, tether to the bramble before the uh, that after the purple AOE or uh, before? Uh, how do you mean, sir? Okay, uh, so I'm still trying to make sure that I understand this, but I tend to learn a little better by trying to do instead of listening. Because half of this, like that, I, I half this I only kind of get until I see it and do it right the first time. Yeah. So, God, I don't want to get too close and provoke it. Okay, so. What's supposed to happen is the fucking puddle appears beneath me, I I get away, and after the uh, purple AOE, I run across if uh, if it's another east, east, west, and that breaks the tether, or do I have to make some kind of other effort to break the tether before I can run across? You might need to dodge, like, a bit in order to get south uh, after you get to the wall, but, like, it just depends, because you'll... They're distance tethers, right? So they mm -hmm. snap from distance. Uh, if I'm like tethered to four or something like that, they'll usually mm -hmm. break around like here. Like that's the distance, and then same thing for the tethers to the DPS or tank sealer, whatever you're tethered to. Okay. So, that's kind of like the idea. Like this line is usually what will break it. Uh, mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to go further, sometimes you have to go a bit north, so it depends. Um, the other thing real quick, I'm gonna assign healer groups. Uh, tanks, you had to worry about which side you're going to, but not too much. This is for wide angle or anti tier. So, real quick, if it's wide angle, what's going to happen is it's going to. So, yeah, I'm going to explain this really quick. Um, if it's wide angle, um, what'll end up happening is she'll cleave in front of her. She'll jump to a wall and she'll cleave in front of her. You can tell which wall she's going to by where the tethers are. Uh, so like if she's tethered north, then I would have one group 
go into that corner and two group will go into that corner this is all boss relative so like her right um will always be group one and then her left will always be group two um so basically if you go into that corner you're gonna be fine uh the order of operations is cleave in the front busters and then an aoe underneath her um, the busters the tanks need to like face away from the party and mitigate um that's not too bad and then just stay out if you guys are in that corner you guys will be fine um the tanks mainly have to do most of the work at that point that's not too bad um and then for anti-air it's the same thing you just go to your corners and you should be okay um but for tanks you and i need to like separate a bit um and mitigate because it's a heavy heavy tank buster that or just involved um the tank buster is probably about the size of that center square if not bigger uh it's a pretty big tank buster it's mean so like the edge of this basically is how big it is or like the edge of this one even uh, <clears throat> So yeah, don't be too close to the party. Uh, um, to assign groups really quick, I'm just gonna have a cart, dodgy, and iron wall. You're gonna be one group. Uh, two group is gonna be uh, jam, Chris, and nudes. Uh, and then yeah, I if we get there, when we get there again, even. Um, We'll get it, but we'll get down brambles first, and then we can ask questions on that when we see it more. So, uh, we'll put 20 on the clock and we'll get out. Uh, what about tanks? You want me on left or right? Uh, you'll be group two. But you can just kind of chill in melee other than that AoE. Yeah, if you're running through, go ahead and check that. I'll just kind of mirror you. Yeah. It's not, it's nothing too crazy. You should be okay. Uh, like, again, we, we had to... If we don't do brambles right, then it won't really matter anyway. Uh, if a DPS dies, that's the only real way that it's okay, is if a DPS dies. Um, so we I don't care if okay. And then go to your clock. Alright, so there's going to be a buster coming out on my forehead, and please go ahead and provoke. So, Ivy. Come back. Alright, get ready for a raid wide, and then we'll be moving into Brambles. Go to Bramble positions. You can pop your knockback if you're using it. And then you can pop it. Now, this is going to be north-south, so just go north or south, whichever. And then we'll be cutting across. Go ahead and cut across. It's going to be okay. It's fine. Uh, wrong wait, side, Aaron. Wrong, wrong way, wrong way. Yep. Wrong side, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. Wrong side. I made it! Yeah, we're good. We Good job, guys. Okay, so now this is going to be uh, wide angle, so under to the side, go to your stack groups that we just assigned uh, for the back dodgy. And then to the back, uh, tanks out. Oh, fuck. And then everyone out. That's fine. Well, I did volunteer to be the dead DPS. I'm going, if you can <laughs> heal me, I can show the next mechanic. Uh, so what'll happen is she's going to do an arena cleave. Uh, after this raid wide and then what we'll do is we will have to go on the side that's just not cleaving you can tell by the ball that's glowing uh so she's gonna cleave the uh, a side so we would be on the b side after which we would be going to our stack or our clock so we would be going to our clock positions so we would go to our clock positions deal with that uh i am bald that's why i live and then we would be going into anti-air, right? 
Panantier's like uh, wide angle, but different. Uh, this is where we would be staying out. So that AoE goes off, the busters go out, and then uh, she cleaves the front. And then after that, it's just another tank buster and then we're into tiles. So wide angle is the one where we're in melee and then we run out and then anti-air we start out and then come in? Yep. Okay. Um, so after, after that wide one where we went to one in, or one and two corner, we all go out or just the tanks go out? Just the tanks. Uh, just make sure to stay in your corner uh, because so what happens is wide angle is a cleave in the front of her uh, the busters and the uh, AoE underneath her anti-air is the AoE underneath her the busters and then the cleave in front of her so it's the same thing but if you are a DPS or a healer you can literally just go to your corner and do the fuck you're gonna do you can be okay um you're you're not gonna even get touched uh the healers get like stack markers on them so that's why the dps need to be with the healers um because of that um they're invisible stack markers but they're there um, okay but yeah so wide angle and anti air is pretty nice um when you get when you get used to it, uh, it's pretty quick initially. But when you get used to it, it's not too bad. Um, just as a note, I guess it's like I'll just call like get underneath to your corners, right? Uh, and then if it, I call anti-air, then I'll just say tanks stay out. Um, the important thing for us, um, Ivy, is for anti-air, we're not doing some jank shit. Uh, sometimes I do the jank shit, depends if I know the tank or not, um, or if I've raided with them in the past. But what we'll do is we'll just, if she's north, I will go to like this side, and I'll be kind of like out here-ish, and you'll like basically mirror me, just pop some mitigation. When the buster goes out, you can just move on in to the sides with the uh, group. Um, you might get cleaved, I'm not too sure, it kind of depends, but... That's the problem with doing um, that with uh, Happy Brambles. Cause it... Okay. Okay, so uh, when she does anti here, do we wait for the attack to go off where she was initially going to? Uh, so the way I saw it was she did a big ol' attack in the, in the corner she retreated to the wall she retreated to yep. and then hit you with the tank buster that means we with wait stack. yeah so we wait until the aoe goes off and then go hide in the corner uh basically as soon as like the cast gets since you're ranged as soon as the cast goes you can literally just go to the corner like the moment you see um anti-air or wide angle you can literally just go to your corner and be okay um and you don't have to worry about like the mechanics like you do not have to worry about the order of operations on what's going on at all as long as you're just in your corner you're fine the only problem comes if you're if you're melee uh and you're greeting for uptime uh or if you're like a red mage and you're in your uh your melee combo um that's the only real issue where it comes but if you're in that corner like right away you're, you're good. okay um all right so what killed us last time though uh, I think we had too many people on one side. Or you guys got tank cleaved, I'm not sure. It was one of the two, I'm not sure which one it was. Alrighty. Um, but yeah, just to reiterate, I uh, Chris, you're group two, so he's Newt. Um, and then you are the left side of the boss always so like this side and if she's south then you're over here right kind of thing yeah, always and on the opposite is true oh. for the other group what's up always on her left too. yeah always on her left I the good old left right, right argument of fucking final fantasy hey you said, you said group two was on the right earlier 
Die. They're right if you're looking. Yeah. But um, the left with her. Yeah, you're you're if you're looking at her, it's your right. But if it, I'm not getting it. That's why I can't hurt you. I I've literally sat here in like my actual static and argued about left and right for an hour. <laughs> it, it gets I believe there. it. Yeah, it gets there. I believe it. Yeah, but no, it's her left uh, for group two. You're right if you're looking at her. Um, and then for group one, it's her right. We'll put 20 on the clock and we'll go again. Uh, Brambles this time around was pretty good. Um, just important to remember that you had to rotate either South or East West first. Not sure. But for the most part, it was fine. No one died, so we are good. Yeah. <laughs> Got a raid boy coming out. And then, guess what we're doing, guys? We're going to our stats. That's what we're doing. Because our balls are going. And then we're going to our clocks. Somebody's going to die. I got no I did. Uh, you're gonna need to inform this. Should be okay. I got back. Alright. Get ready to drop your pedal. You can pop your knockback if you're using it. And then you get there. Drop it. And then we are on north south, so just go north or south. Here, Jam. Yeah. And then we are cutting across. Go ahead and cut across. Break your tethers. Oh, hi, Jam. That's unfortunate. I don't know why you guys got screwed. Anti air tanks stay out. Everyone else get under two corners. You're gonna get oh, that. Yeah, those tank what? busters are literally massive, so. I was right. trying to get there. Whee! Yeah, that's all good. I'm shocked your guys' tether didn't break. I was watching that. Yeah, it was uh, as wide as it could possibly be. Hell. This is a point. I did see some people run before they got the tether, so make sure I got that first. Yeah, just make sure, like, so that purple marker, as soon as you see that purple marker, that's when you can go. Uh, the tether doesn't have to be assigned to you, it's like, that purple marker is the tell. See it, but, if you run before that, then, uh, could end up screwing people, but, I, that wasn't one of those cases. It was just the fact that, that break, but that's okay. 20 on the block. This fight's a good reminder why my opening is very important. I get to greet an entire extra uh, round of burst combo mm. if I do it right. Ooh. There's some yeah. importance ready for me on fucking amp. Let's go, dude. <laughs> get that coffee. Inject those that coffee into my veins, you know. Let's. Oh. All right, we're going to our clocks. And then we go to our stack groups, make sure people are healed up for this. So, all right, I've been we're having a gutter. We're staying away from Hybe. Go ahead and throw it. Come back. Alright. 
gonna be phase changing and then you get ready to jump through puddles. And pop your knockback. Oh, I'm gonna have. I popped it way too soon. Okay. And then it's north south again, so we're just going north or south. Get ready to cross. Run across. It's easier to dodge in, by the way, so this is wide angle, so under into the sides with your group. That's wrong side course. I think so. That's okay, it doesn't matter now. And then everyone out. Ah, uh, fuck. That's the AoE I was talking about. Yeah, I was trying to stay away from uh, the tank and the... Uh... Wait, actually, no, that's a tank. That's cart. Never mind, I was, try I was running away from the wrong person entirely. <laughs> Yeah, like, you're, you, you'll be okay, uh, I think. So, this is just the cave, you can practice this, is, we'll die, but that's okay. Um, so, we're gonna be on the A side, so everyone move over to the A side. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your clock position. So, cleave, clock, go. Uh, we got stacked at least. So. And then this is the anti air one. So this is where the tanks are out, and then you go under to your sides. Still progress. Yep. Uh, I saw, so two of you were, when you drop your pedals, you kind of run to the, run out in the back. You can just like run in if you want. Uh, that way you don't have to run like all the fucking way around. Um, that way, either you like just step in and go this way, or step in and go like that way. All right. There's there's two of you that I saw doing it, so it's it's okay. Um, like you still did the mechanic fine, uh, so it's not that big of a deal. But like for less running, uh, that's what you can do. I don't want to. Uh, honestly, I don't want to. Avoid uh, giving myself the temptation of trying to squeeze in a spell cast where I really, really shouldn't. So, uh, I was just kind of doing it that way to give myself exactly enough time. Mm -hmm. But then again, maybe I do have enough time for a cast. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't think that way. 20 on the clock. I mean, like, it, it all comes down to fight familiarity, uh, what you're used to and whatnot. Uh, is like damage will come, but mechanics are game. You, you can't do uh, damage if you're dead, kind of thing is uh, the mentality. Right. Alright, so we got the ray wide, get ready to go to your positions. You can pop your knockback if you're using it. Scrambles. This is going south again. Get ready to cut across. Fuck, 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 But that's okay. Wide angle, under into the sides. Oh, I. No, you were fine. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah, everyone's out all right. <laughs> that was my bad, I'm sorry. I got turned mm, around. You were fine. No, yeah, that was yeah, my fault. Sorry. Okay. I was on the other side of the arena, it? I was not fine. People <laughs> followed me. Oh, for that one. So. Yeah, I was I like, went, yeah, where's the, the two? Huh? <laughs> yeah, if you want to see the tell for that, for the which side you're going to, it's whatever her back's tethered to. It was yeah. Like, I just wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. That's all good. Did you a large dabble dabble? Mm hmm. Alright, give me a second here. Any Timbits? Look like somebody's uncle. Yeah. I think Chris needs a sec. Timbits are soon, okay. They're soon TM. Are you gonna be back or no? Yeah, we'll take a break then. Uh, I'll grab somebody. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, Tails, are you watching? Are we leaving? Okay. Yeah, just leave, take a break, and I'll grab somebody. Alright, somebody, somebody ping me on Discord, please. I'm gonna go grab a snack in the meantime. For sure. Thanks. Alright, break you, people. Coffee. This is a stupid question. I don't know how to leave. Uh, you and then if you're on keyboard, and then leave. Oh, thank you. A sec. I'm gonna grab a quick.
I'm back. Welcome back. Okay. Yep, no worries. As I was telling them, we'll see how scuffed my samurai is. <laughs> <laughs> We're still using uh, our jank gas weapon placements. Okay. You're taking Arthur's old spot. Uh, that is south east, right? Got it. And uh, you are going to be. We're doing happy bramble, so you'll you'll have to rotate <laughs> between you'll. I'll... There. We'll get it figured out one way or the other. Yeah. Good old wake up and to gather for a bit and to raid, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Literally was just starting to work on my uh, Duskborn Aether Sands because I've been lazy on that recently. Yeah, well, get yoinked, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I can tell Saturn it's not my fault. <laughs> Blame me. Uh, I couldn't do this because Flame uh, dragged me into this shit again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's Flame's fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up? I'm blaming you for stuff. Yeah. That's kind of the norm at Fallen. I, that's in the guild in total, honestly. <laughs> Everyone blames me. That's okay, though. But it's done with love. Every time. Every, yeah, no, it's there's definitely some hate in there, I'm sure. Sprit. Sprit fella city. Sprit, what'd I do? Some spirits in there? So, Tails, you know that uh, helm that I was farming for? Mm hmm. So, it turns out uh, it's not the Lakeland set. Not oh. fully the Lakeland set. So, I got a circlet. And I was like, fuck, man. God damn it. So, now I have to go farm <laughs> Lakeland. Uh, or, uh, old Mr. Switch. Well, that one you can probably unsync really easily. It's not unsinkable, I thought. Oh, wait, yeah. I uh, sent him a message. to get back and then we'll hop in. How are you guys enjoying it so far? Some of your guys' first savage. It's fun. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, great. I'm really not too worried if we don't clear it because oh, we won't, but... my static is starting in on Sunday. That's why I'm here. It's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Who are you raiding with? Uh, hold on, give me a second to tab over to the Discord. A bunch of people for 4.0. Oh. Uh, the prancing Paisa. It's Kagura. Oh decked. yeah, it's Kags. Yeah. Yeah. Decked. Our Isn't current that... our current uh, list is Robin. Me and Opal healing. Uh, Nowhere is tanking. Mm -hmm. And Kagura is tanking as well. And then we've got Deck Osk Kag. And Robin as DPS. It's because I'm there too, huh? Mm hmm. Cool. And I can never say his name right, but Kegnazo. Kegnazo is right in with you guys too, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he joined in as our last caster. Mm. 
It's gonna be a fun time. I'll be fun. We're gonna have our first uh, our first stab at it on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like as a healer, I should come in there a little bit more prepared because I've got to also keep everybody else alive while we're constantly failing mechanics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good time. Mm -hmm. When do you guys start dodging? Um, I said early to mid-May, strictly because I'm going on holidays early May. Um, but I mean, we could start early if we're comfortable. wanted a snack and I wanted something sweet so I got a glass of milk with some Oreos. <laughs> Chow down on them. I got this rum here, you know. And uh oh, oh my buddy wanted rum, a rum. um Where do you get out? I gonna uh, join you right now at six AM. That would be a little too yeah, yeah. Looks too extreme. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not touching it yet. <laughs> yeah. I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> you just die fucking <laughs> seriously. For the What's that? Sorry. Get... I said you're just eye fucking it curiously. <laughs> <laughs> like you're getting mine soon. <laughs> you guys want to hear some shit? Hold up. What? Get ready for this. At 6 a.m., all you gotta do is put it in a wine glass or a little umbrella in it and say it's brunch. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got coffee. I could just make it special. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of Irish the coffee. Cork. Ooh, there you go. Nice little pop there on that cork. Nice little pop on the cork, you know? Yeah. Okay, sitting in my truck that I need to bring in. Chilled, you know? It, depending on where you're at. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> That's how my Iron. saga hole goes. He just wanted us to send him a DM, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sent him one. Yeah, he said ping me in Discord when we're ready. I sent him a message that said ping ping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just chill. We'll have a gutter, you know? Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, there's our... Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> He's risen. I came. I don't even know that. That's great, I'm but are you coming here? I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm happy for you. Well, that's been a good one if it took that long. Break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he definitely had enough time. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. We're gonna send her right down center. Okay, so... It's the same stuff. Uh, Tail is your group too. I'm. Oh, I'm at two. Yep. No, sorry, you're at. I thought it was three. You're at three. Uh, you're okay. group two though. Got it. Or wide. Yep. Oh uh, god, I've never been on that side. That'll be fun. <laughs> you're opposite. Uh, we'll just do a ray check, pop some food, and then we'll get out here. I'll pop food once, uh, the end is in sight. Twenty on the buff. You gonna go hungry? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't go into a raid hungry. I actually did, You got but free food is... at the cafe, my dude, you know? <laughs> Believe me, I have plenty of food, it's just that I don't, I don't like popping food when I know we're gonna be dying over and over again, and... Yeah. Yeah. I'm just stingy well, like that. Don't die. <laughs> yeah. If only. <laughs> so we're vibing, we're having a gooder. We are going to be going into our clock positions. You're also going to be chilling, Tails, for your stack. Not going to be doing anything. So go to your stacks, make sure people are healed. Alright, cool. Get ready for 
Ghost Busters. Bramble position, so you can pop your knockback. <clears throat> Go ahead and place it. It's east-west, so rotate. So you'd be going between A and Tails. Tails. What's it? Tails! Oh. Oh, whoops. I went north. And I lived! That's okay. Good job. Uh, this Wait. is anti-air tank stay out. Everyone else under to the sides. Tanks right. it. Went to the wrong side. And oh. tanks in. I think I killed you, Dodge. No, you took a stack by yourself, I think. Okay, I get what yeah. you meant by the changing now. <laughs> I'm dead. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, uh... Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I, I get what you meant by the changing now. I need to make sure I'm on the DPS side. Well, you're on the other side. Oh, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Between the. Uh, it's always a south or west. Four. Yeah. So we're on A yeah. side, and then we would be going to our block or stack positions. Stack. And then we would die. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually pop right for Yeah, so Tails, you would, if it's east west, you rotate A4. Yeah, I go to the 4 A side. <clears throat> yep. Not our jank shit where we always go north south no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, that comes down to what you and your static are uh, used to. Mm -hmm. So that's why we never changed it. Why change what's not broken, you know? When you Good old days when we were doing panic mechanic brambles. <laughs> I still love that I taught that shit first Scatter. week. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching that shit first week of the fucking learning parties were hilarious, dude. Yeah. People calling me out, it's like, isn't there a better way to do this? I was like, yeah, probably, but we haven't done it yet, so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Divination up. <laughs> I have well and truly fucked my opener. It's okay. Oh well. <clears throat> it's okay. So, guess what we're doing, guys? We're going to our attack records, because the balls are glowing. You know? And then we're going to our so, uh, positions. So are mine? Question mark? It's I'm having a gutter, we're staying away from Ivy. Alright. So, we're gonna have an AoE here, and then we're gonna be dropping our ground with us. You can pop that knockback. Go ahead and get into your spots. Or east west again, so rotate if you need to. And you can cut a grass. Good stuff. Good zones. <coughs> uh, and then it is wide angle, so under to the side with your group. Good job, guys. Okay. And then tank busters are out, so tanks out. And then everyone out. And then just try to get them up for this. Sorry, my boyfriend distracted me for a second. It's all good. 
Red mages, rezzing red mages. It's like we need one more. I tried to get some heals on the end. Okay. <laughs> uh, try to get him up, and then what we'll have is we'll have uh, B side. After B side, we need to be moving to our clocks. So go to your clocks right now, quick, quick, quick. Uh, okay. That was just because of uh, we had yeah people down. So anti air tanks down. Everyone under to your sides. The wrong side there. Whoops. <laughs> and then you shit. go in. Need to be a bit more out on my side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How dare you, Tails? Not used to being melee, it's weird. It's the life. Just mm -hmm. start throwing your sword instead. Ah, that's basically what I'm doing, just swinging it back and forth and hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I was trying to see if I could get it to the next phase. Any qu- <coughs> Oh my god. Don't uh, I swear to god, these fucking English. Saturday learning parties are- See how many times Flame chokes on his coffee, you know? <laughs> <coughs> I actually strongly considered making coffee, but uh, I, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging even longer. <laughs> All good. It's all good. Uh, are there any questions up to that point? Uh, what went wrong at the end? Uh, somebody just got shot by um, the fact that somebody was dead. And then... I took two clocks early. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then... We had wrong sides for those stacks on the board, that so it didn't help. But yeah, that's that's all that was. Uh, nothing too too crazy there. Alright. Other than that, it's pretty good. We'll put twenty on the clock and we'll be got to get our game going good. Hell yeah, left fucking right, so let's go. Boom! Woo! Better powder once we have it. powder, let's there go out there, bye. By the way, um, is there a time when I should be popping raid buffs, or, or are we not, like nowhere near that point yet? Uh, we don't worry about it. Which, like, if you, okay. like, optimiz optimization, you, you have the balance to spread, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, they'll tell you when to do it, kind of thing, in your opener. Uh, and you can pretty well just follow that. The only time... Lineups actually matter is like when you're in a static or you're in a, a group that I clock, by the way. You're in a group that I'm focusing on that. Uh, like, uh, my group does it because they just, it's just what you do. Go to your stack groups. Um, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You got it. Go ahead and provoke. That's a good question. One of the things I heard is that it's bad to use your raid buffs freely, and, uh, well... I think for the I most part, ask. it gets used on cooldown as classes, so... Most of the week, yeah. Uh, pop your knockback, get your spots. What does that feel? I said mostly, yes. Drop Except, them, uh, and then we are north-south. Upgrade mage, which really shouldn't be popping uh, a couple of those. Uh, rather, should, shouldn't be popping embolden unless uh, we have our melee combo. Up. Tier, tank sale. Sides. Mitigate, Ivy. Yeah. And then after our tank busters go off, we can move them. Then. I'm surprised you didn't get killed there, Iron. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Barely got scraped by it. Okay. I I fully expect it to die. All right. So get to your. I don't know. Far enough down. Uh, <clears throat> we got Ray Boy coming up here. Try to go jam if you can. I right, get them up. So this is gonna be the cleave again. 
So we're gonna be on B side, and then afterwards we need to go to our clock positions. So get to your clock. You got stacked by two. It's okay though. Uh, wide angle, under to the sides. Might be okay. Let's see. And then tanks out. Everyone out. Okay. Uh, should be fine. Let's see tiles now. So, uh, stay away from the north. Uh, Ivy, get ready to put both off me. I'll let you know. Go ahead, put both. You're gonna be taking the buster here. Get healers up. Uh, yes, it can. Well, well, this is tiles. Of... tiles. Tiles is here again. Fine. You made yeah. it to tiles, and so... I'm not going to say we, but you made it. <laughs> I can't really explain this too much because they're going on. Uh, I'm just gonna go and do this real quick. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> And you get this laser shit that you have to face out, right? Then you have to come in, right? And you're vibing. You can see what I can show, I guess. So you would have that, right? So mm -hmm. everyone would have to shift to one side of the arena. Uh, then it would go off. After it goes off, you move back. Um, And then you would go to your block or your stack. If you're stacking, you stack on like two different tiles with your partner. If you're going to your block, you just go to your block. Alright. So. Yeah. Tiles is arguably the hardest part of that fight. When you get tiles, you pretty well have the fight. But alright. Yeah. Okay, now what about red mage is not used? Oh, uh, I mean, no, if, you you use, it, if, if you use it as soon as uh, it's uh, it's uh, off cooldown and your melee combo isn't ready, you're kind of wasting it. Okay, That's about it. It's in my opener. Hmm. I might have been told wrong then. I'm pretty sure they use it on cooldown. Paper does, doesn't it? Usually. Yeah. Uh, he'll line it blow. sometimes, depending on what we're doing, but yeah. Third GCD, I think. Well. Yeah, I'm not right. familiar with uh, Red Mage too much, but... Um, yeah, and yeah. one thing you'll find with a lot of those optimizations is that you're talking differences of 1-3%, to 3%, yeah. which is not the difference of getting a lost out. Yeah, exactly. Alright. If you're holding it for your melee combo, that is, so... Hmm. I don't know if you're in the link shop of Vex watching and he's telling what's going on with them as well. Because, uh, negations, uh, so you should have a melee combo ready to go for it. Hmm, I see. It's a coward. Alright, play on the clock. But yeah. That stuff can kind of stay alive right now. What's going on though? So until you get to that point, you don't know how to worry about it too much. It's nice to have that mindset going into it though. Uh, and whatnot. All right. We're going to our partners, get to your partners, you know. Alright, then we're at Earth. Go ahead and provoke.
Alright, get ready for Brambles. Let's see. Pop your knife back. Oof, fuck. Ah, uh, north, south. Another card. <laughs> And you can cross my brand is all drink, that's my bad. Alright, so this is wide angle under into your side. Thanks so. And then everyone out. Nope, breathing too much. Greedy, greedy samurai, get him up at the end. I got him. Watch for the. I thought I could builds. get one more GP. Uh, okay, cool. So get ready. Um, you, I think you want. I was in the wrong yeah, spot. That's okay. So we're gonna be on the A side. After the A side, you are going to your block position. Get your clock. Uh, we are anti air, tank stay out. Oh. Yeah, you had to remember just to be in that corner, because you will get leave pretty hard. Don't. I don't know why I think I have to be closer. I'm just gonna end on this. Uh, it's just one of those things. You had to get used to it. You can go ahead. Provoke, so no, to... I know. I, I, I wanted to see if I could heal myself and I couldn't. So. <laughs> Look at that. Tiles again. This time we got different people there. Nice. Twice as many people. Yeah. You're not wrong. Actually, do corpses make the tiles fall too, or was I. No. Nope. Did I just happen to be on a block that fell? Uh... You just happened to be on one that fell. You got it. Yep. Yeah, um. The biggest difference between normal is that you can't have two people on the same tile at all. Um, there's an exception to that, but probably not what we're going to go over at all. Um, and then it actually only goes to one tile on the outside, so it gets rid of all three instead of just the one. Don't worry, I'll get us the next phase. you, <laughs> <laughs> Dodgy. Brave oh. man. Oh. Oh. Dodgy's living up to his name. <laughs> Yeah, um, for the most part, all that is is uh, just getting used to uh, what you had to be, where you had to go, and whatnot. I don't think, unless anyone has any specific questions, I think it's uh, all good. How right. not to die? Don't <laughs> uh, <laughs> let your health go to zero. <laughs> it's true. It's there you go. There it is.
I guess as a note for tanking that, you can also just embalm that if you want to embalm it. You don't really use your embalm on anything else unless you're doing jank shit. Pop your knockback, get ready to go to your spot. And you know I do all that jank shit. So, uh, north-south <coughs> again. And then we cut across. Yep, this is going to be anti-air, tanks still, everyone under to your side. Back. Back. Are out. Oh, Keep fuck it. Out. Then under... Try to get them up. I've got iron wall. Thank you. Oh no, sorry. I've got this. How did I live? Because you weren't spawned yet. Alright, so what we're doing is we are going to be on the B side. On the B side. And then we are going to be going to our clock positions. So get over to your clock positions. Go. I promise you I had spawned. I lost all but like 10 of my health. Oh, I went to the wrong place. That's my bad. It's okay. Wide angle. Okay. Under to the side. Hopefully it's okay. We'll see. <laughs> Hashtag pray. And then tanks out. We'll find out real quick here. And then everyone out. It's not too bad. This isn't worst case scenario, so. Alright, so stay away from north. I'll just embalm it. We'll have everyone for this. Uh, stay away from me. Alright. And jam. Oh fuck, guys, you guys are gonna kill yours. Ah! So this is where like coming out. Try to get in the epic can. I didn't explain this, so I expect that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's oh. <laughs> I'm not so, going to go back. Anything. Nope, go back. Ah! Hmm. All right, I was so confused. <laughs> Okay, you know, come on in for the. Oh yeah, there's that. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see if we can't kill people here. Who wants to die? You want to die, Heidi? Nope. Stay away from me. You want to die, Jam? I got gotcha. you. You want to die, Heidi? I got gotcha. you. Move on. Move on. Move on. God damn it. Let's see if anyone actually lives. You can pop your emblem and try living. Let's see if I... I believe. I believe in you. You got this. Now mitigate the fuck out of this because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, nice. Look at that. We cleared hey. tiles, guys. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm proud. Easy. Uh, I'll call this for you if you want. Uh, you're gonna be... let's see... Uh, west-southwest. So over by Thor. I think. Yeah. No, 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 a bit more north. Oh my god, you lucked out. <laughs> and you're gonna take a tank buster here, but... You yeah, know. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like the fucking cleave again, and it's repeated mechanics but stacked. So, I guess I will explain how tiles work since we've seen them a few times now. Um, so, if two stand on it, they they fall. I noticed. You, you have about five seconds on those, or not even. You have about a second on those before they fall. If two people are on it, so. All right, so just don't. Ideally, sometimes it gets uh, 
This is the hard part with these uh, learning parties because you'll get here and with different people it's uh, it's hard to prog. But mm -hmm. so either you get it right away, you know, because people will refresh at different times. So <clears throat> these marks here, right? You saw uh, these relate to your clock positions. So the healer healers are three and four, right? So that means jam you're on this back tile and this front tile okay this person here which will be tails is refreshing on this tile you are also refreshing on this tile when you see it purple that's basically when you want to refresh um you have about 15 seconds or so uh, on your tile before it goes purple then you have about five seconds on that tile before it drops you so yeah Basically, these colors is who you're refreshing with. So, like, Tails, you're refreshing with Jam on the south one. And then uh, Dodgy and Heart would be refreshing on D4 uh, between that one. And then Iron Wall and myself would be refreshing on the 1A one. And B and 2 would be High B and uh, uh, Nudes. <clears throat> so, that's who would be going there. Does that make sense for everyone first off on what you're refreshing on? Uh, so, let me see if I get it. Um, so let's say that you're standing on the A tile and in, in the corner and I'm on behind her. One. You're on one. Uh, yeah, when when our tiles turn purple we move into the one that's in between us and then get the fuck out of it before it falls out? Uh, yeah. So basically what happens is I end up starting on like, you'll end up starting on the far tile, and I'll end up starting on the closer tile. Uh, and then I usually watch this debuff that we have, and then I move over to A. Uh, so my refreshes are pretty quick. So you'll have more time to do what you need to do. Um, it just... That's that's the idea, though, yeah. Very loosely. You would be We're dodging and killing the cloud? Yeah. Um, they work... Those clouds, by the way... Uh, need to be dealt with the people on the intercardinal um or the cardinal sorry so the healers if you can try to kill your cloud um we don't have white mage so that kind of sucks but um, i don't know if we want for that have. jam i can swap with you because i don't care about my dps like we'll get where we get um i think i'll be all right astrology okay. has pretty good damage yeah um and then if you want to range, can maybe shoot off some shit over at yours if uh, you need it at some point. Um, I will say as well, the clouds for the people on the Cardinals, they work like they do in World of Darkness, uh, where if you stand in front of them, they slow down. Hmm. Um, so... And you want to be standing in front of them because there's it. You're probably not going to kill it before. The problem that happens with uh, not killing them before they go in is the AOE at the end is stronger. It's like an empowered AOE, so ah. that's that. So if you understand the tile mechanics, that's cool. Um, what'll happen is I'll be counting down this like debuff that we all have, and what we want to do is we want to face it like face the outside of the arena. So if I'm over at C, I want to be facing this direction, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then same for three, same for four. Basically what happens is it's like a cleave out from the front of your character and it will cleave whoever the fuck's across the arena from you if uh, you're looking at somebody. How do we know when we have that? Uh, there's a debuff that gets applied. I'll call like five seconds and then three seconds face them out. Okay. usually my call so yeah <clears throat> but it's like a 15 second debuff that's on you and um <laughs> after that after the a or after the lasers go up everyone wants to come in on the uh, the close squares because you'll be we'll be taking like a, a donut aoe mm -hmm. um after that donut aoe then we'll go back to where you need to go, refresh, what, do what you need to do. Um, now, for that, 
you'll see her cleave one side of the arena. If she cleaves uh, the A side, uh, then basically what will happen is I'll move here. Uh, the person that's at C is going to move up here. The person that's at 3, either... I think we've had them stay there, so the person at 3 stays there. The person at D comes over to here, and the person at 4 comes over to here. Right? So we're kind of like stacked on this one side, and this other side is clean of people. And the opposite's true for if it's, uh... Uh, the other side cleave. You'll have to see it more, I'm sure, but... So you'd have something like this, right? So you try to line up, uh, essentially on the opposite side of where your clock is, right? Uh, yeah. to a point? You... you don't have to worry about anything, Iron. You can stay on that spot. Okay. Uh... I can stay on two. Uh, no. You, well, if your side gets cleaved, you have to move pretty well where I have it marked right now. Uh, and then Ivy would move up here. Right here. So if your side is getting cleaved, uh, nudes, then you would come, like, down here. And then after the cleave goes off, you can just run back to your spot. But if the other side's getting cleaved, you can just chill out too, yeah. The people that can chill always is, uh, Iron and Jam. Everyone Does it always cleave along the north south? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Noted. I just gotta wiggle list. slightly out of the way so make sure I'm not eating I'm not eating it with half my hitbox, I guess. This donut and cleave is during or after tile. <coughs> during. So like the donut so the donut is right after the gaze and then the cleave will be right after that. Um well, it won't be right after, but it'll be a little bit after. Um, and then after that, you're going to have, uh, like, a clock position thing or a uh, stack with your partner. So, like, in your case, nudes, you would just come... You would, you would go a bit... You would come into the inner uh, square, and you would kind of, like, be on the inner square next to Hybe, uh, just to take the AoE. So, like, if I'm... Uh, jam right and this is the south tile and then tails is over on his tile I would come to this tile and I'd be on a separate tile than tails but we'd be stacking the other if that makes sense I guess we'll find out yeah just hug the line but don't yeah. cross the line yeah you never want to be on the same tile as somebody else you can for a very brief second but you know it's scary we had, uh, we'll put 20 on the clock, but, uh, <laughs> in our, uh, our group, we had at one point three people refreshing on the same tile, and it was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, <laughs> holy crap, that's scary as fuck, like, I don't know what's happening. So you have time, it's just you have to be really, really quick. <laughs> Literally like half a second. <sighs> All right, we are going to our clock positions. And we're going to our stack positions. All right, get ready to drop your puddle so you can pop your knock back. This is going so. And you can cross. Break him. Alright, so we got 
anti-air tanks stay out. Everyone else under two sides. Clusters are coming out. Them tanks. going to cleave one side, then we'll be going to our block or our stack. So we're going to be on the B side. After the B side, we are going to be moving to your partner stack. Get your partner stack. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Alright, get ready for wide angle. We'll be going underneath and to the sides. Under to the sides. Get into the corner with your... your Green! Yeah, plenty of time. Alright, tanks out slightly. And then everyone out. Good stuff. Very good. Alright, same way from north. I'm just gonna do inbound this. You don't need to provoke, it'll be fine. Alright. So get to your clock positions for um, piles. Good thing, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be starting on this one here, right? And then so we're going into piles here. So get ready to play on your tile. Uh, I'm watching the debuff. Uh, make sure you're going that cloud. Uh, all right. So there's about. Five seconds on the timer. Uh, there's three seconds. Make sure you're facing your laser out. Now everyone come in. I got clay by like three. That's okay though. Come on in. Yeah, I, uh, I also ate a laser, but I did manage to kill my cloud for whatever that's worth. Sorry for accidentally dropping the cloud. I went too far from one. Oh, no worries. And then we'd be coming to my side. So you would chip over one high beat. That's me. Go ahead and move over. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that shit in there. I got a trap. Right I had nowhere to I, go. I will mention as well, if you get rezzed on those platforms, you, uh, you'll you be okay. Uh, you can move back as soon as you get rezzed, as long as you don't attack the boss or get healed. You can cross over other platforms if you have uh, res and uh, immunity. Oh, so I got a few seconds to move. Yeah, you have a few yeah. seconds to get back to where you okay, need to go. I didn't know that. I got confused in state. That's why I figured I'd mention it. How is it we survived that AoE that just killed? By, uh, by killing the clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing that also helps with the clouds is um, those that are on the cardinals at the very end, you want to start off in front of the clouds, like literally right next to them. That way you can kind of backpedal as much as you can to DPS them. Um, and then those that are on the intercard tiles, you can be on the cardinal tiles inner yeah. and move out of the way as the cloud's coming closer. That way you are in position for the circular AOE and at the same time the clouds are slowed the entire time. Yeah, so for, for yeah. example with um, the people on the intercardinals, I start on like the north tile. Uh, and then when I call five seconds, that's when I'm moving back over to my tile. Um, five or three is when I move back ish. But that's what that calls for, generally. Yeah, I lasered you there trying to kill off the cloud. It's okay. But hey, it's tank probably, so it's fine. It's okay, you know. I apparently took two, so now I know I can live two. <laughs> <laughs> this is progress of a sort. Yeah, no, it's frog, it's definitely a frog. That was the first time we got everyone to tiles, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. so Gives you a good idea. And then again, like I said too, tiles is probably the hardest mechanic in this fight. Uh, like, there's not, there's towers after, but towers are pretty straightforward. If you have rambles and you have towers kind of thing. Yeah, 
That's good, guys. That's good. Gonna bring in to. Well, I mean, we can. <laughs> We'd have to change our strat again. <laughs> I'm scared back. I don't want to do that. Yep. I'm hopeful for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Seem to have the lineup down. Go to your clock. Pop your knife back. Oh no, there we go. Place. Different. Different time. Uh, that's okay, east west. I just have to watch out for that one. So, crazy. We might be okay. Let's see. Hey, yeah, somebody's gonna die. That's okay though. Try to break that. We can. Wee! Oh god! Oh. Nope, was not enough. Great away to <laughs> Alright, wide angle on your different sides. No. That's what's out. Haha, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> yep. My bad. It's all good. That's what this is for. Mm -hmm. It's a learning party, you know? Yeah, better here than in my static when we're trying to proc art. They're understanding. There's a res for the other healer. We're here to learn and ready to die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's part of the Although, fun. I do so. enjoy the irony that the tether broke the moment my feet were no longer on the platform. And then cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened last time I got hooked to a... Was it Jam? Maybe. Yeah, we uh, ended up on, on opposite sides of the arena, it's still tethered to one another. Yeah, 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 yeah. that had to happen. That, that was... Happen. that was interesting. There it is. You see that AoE? That's a tank buster. There's two of those. It's fucking huge. <laughs> it's so goddamn big, it's dumb. So, to give you an idea on how, uh, how jank that thing is, uh, uh, for our static, what we were doing is we would pop tank immunity and we would just dash in. Uh, so after that first little donut AoE go or the first little AoE underneath her goes off, we just invuln and then walk in and then we just stack the tank busters on top of each other. <laughs> and that then uh, if anyone's too close sense. to us, they die. So. <laughs> So it worked because we had no melee that were in yeah. there at that point? Well, we have one melee, but... Who yeah. would get clipped by it all the time? Yeah, I would kill him with that shit. Constantly. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's okay. Got that tank up top. <laughs> I, would, I would actually argue it's probably an easier way to do the mechanic, too, but... You know. I'll clip go burr. Luckily, go brrr. Play on the clock. Much animation lock to triple cast that. What a shame. What? 
I'm gonna go into my partners. This is going south. Lost. And then cross. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all good. This is tanks out. Everyone else under to the sides. Get this as well. Out. I see why Arison doesn't like doing that shit fails, you know? Mm -hmm. It's easier to do when we're in the Endbreaker, but uh, don't let him hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be on A side. After we go to A side, we are going to be going into our clock positions. So get over to your clocks. I think you got clipped. I got close in, I think, is all that happened. Yeah. Wide angle, under to the side. Should be fine. Thanks so. out. And then everyone out. What? I was way out of that. I got him. Yeah, you were. Holy fuck, you got server tech to look like. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna keep it here and then I'm just gonna end on this shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get your clock. And get ready for some tile plays again. Some tile memes. Alright, get over to your tile. We're vibing at our times. You know, we're having a gutter at our times. I'm watching that email. Watch that head back. cloud. There is a good old fashioned five seconds. And then there is uh, three face them out. Come on in. Yeah. Uh jam, during that you need to go back. Otherwise I have no way of getting off of my dial. I'm Crushing sorry. Me. It's all good. Come over you're to my good, side. Good. Oh, I was so about to. You would use rotate core, south core. One more over jam. Oh, you killed Ivy. It's okay. <laughs> well, now I really can't use core for. Um, yes, I can. Pressure on this I'm real quick. Get second. stack with so your partner. Going on. So you would come to the edge of yours, so go south there, Kurt. Cool. That's okay. Yeah, that's somebody's yeah, pretty yeah, bad, but that's okay. If so you're a cardinal, you would I would suggest starting out. Like just that way, it's a lot easier for you to blow the I'm cloud immediately. See, actually, yeah. I don't think okay. I can save you. And basically, just come in with the cloud. Okay. Oh, we have reses up though. Okay, so if you guys want to follow me, you can. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll I saw my see. death coming, and I knew what to do with my uh, man. North and west. So we are here. Right here with me. Uh, I'm gonna need you in a second here, Harvey. So, I need you to provoke off me in a moment. You'll be taking this buster, go ahead and provoke. And then I'll go grab it back. Alright, then I'm facing north. Alright, so what'll happen here is gonna be that cleave again. So we're gonna be on the 
B side. Then we would go to our uh, block positions, and after that we had to end on the A side. But we're probably just going to die to clocks. But... So we go to our clocks, and then we would end A side if we didn't die. So yeah, we ended. Sorry, that was my fault. Oh, you're good. I see now. That we show the so mechanics, bad. so that's all good. Tails. <laughs> I see what I you did on disappointing. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Tails. Hey, noodles. Huh? I noticed something for you too when we break out into the uh, platforms or tiles. Walk okay. backwards in front of the fog, so that way. You can DPS it and it'll slow down. I'm gonna move off my off the tile, so don't even worry about double stack for it to drop off. Well, uh, that uh, that actually takes us to the end. So, <laughs> uh, so that'll be the end of the learning party. Um, that was good shit today. Uh, I'll just do my summary stuff. Um, so yeah, we saw. I mean tiles. Tiles, most of the work comes on tiles, like I said. And then you saw that double cleave. Uh, after the double cleave, there's like this, uh, you do a wide angle or an anti air. Um, and towers. Uh, towers isn't too bad. Uh, you kind of have to see them once or twice before you get them. Um, and then you go into wide angle anti air, and then you do like arena cleaves. And after that arena cleave, you go into second tiles. And that's up into Enrage. So there's not too much left. Uh, no new mechanics. Um, that's about that. Uh, good shit today, though. Uh, very good. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to message me. Uh, if I can't answer the question for you, I probably know somebody who can. Um, but uh, for the most part, it was a really good job. Um, now for time to plug ads, you know. Donate to your FC Lotto, you know. Uh, go ahead and go to the cafe. The cafe's tonight. I can't remember what time. Uh, I think it's 10, 10 central. central. 10 central time. Uh, get your food, get your pots, whatever you want to do. Come hang out. Yeah, Nudes I'm is going to be there. I'm going to be there, you know. What's that, Nudes? I said, come see me for some food. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Nudes, but uh, Mama Mel, uh, I'm her regular, so I, I had to go to Mama Mel. I'll come to you, Nudes. I'll pick that up with her. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. Um, let's see. Yeah, learning parties. Very good time. Uh, I'm going to be doing 10 next week, E10S. Um uh, same time as the last. I'm not. I don't require anything uh, extra from you. Um, but that would mean I'd have to clear this. Uh, yeah. You just sacrifice <laughs> your loot if you get pulled in. That's all that is. Um, loot from nine. That is. Uh, and then the week after, I'm gonna be doing eleven. I think I'm gonna unlock it. So if uh, if you're interested in those, then you can do that. Uh, but. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. So, 